Hey, what's up, chitheads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be swapping out the rear cassette on the Wired Freedom. If you saw my recent review on this bike, you noticed one of my biggest complaints was the fact that I believe this bike is geared too steep. Wired claims this comes equipped with an 11 by 34 tooth rear cassette. However, both my Freedom and the Cruiser came equipped with 11 by 28 tooth cassettes. For reference, this is an 11 by 28 tooth cassette. This is a 12 by 34 tooth cassette. And this is a cassette tape. Rim shot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, no. Notice how much bigger the low gear is on this one. According to my math, and my math could be wrong because this isn't a math channel, this is 18% bigger. Spoiler alert for all you eagle-eyed viewers, you might already notice that this bike is equipped with 11 by 34. That's because I actually installed it yesterday. But just because I love you guys so much, I'm gonna go ahead and do the install again, show you which tools you're gonna to need, and show you which parts I used, just so you don't have to worry about it if you decide to do it yourself. All I want in return is like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. There's another bonus. I get to use this cool new bike stand. Anyways, guys, that's enough small talk. Let's get right into it. This is another thing I mentioned about the Wired Freedom, is this bike is heavy and handling it is quite the pain. For your viewing pleasure, you get to see how much of a struggle this is. Oh, it's cakewalk, guys. It's easy, so easy. No struggle at all. Am I making you nervous? And we're all done, guys. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next video. Let's go ahead and rotate this thing upside down. Thanks for texting me right now, guys. Guys, I've never been so scared in my entire life. And I have to say, I probably won't ever do this again. That's enough of this. All better. One of the first things I always recommend anytime you work on the rear of these bikes, take a picture first because there are washers in there and you want to make sure they all go back in the same spot. On the motor side, there are two zip ties you need to cut, one that's right here and another one up here. You have to unscrew the motor connection, which unscrews on each side, just twist them opposite directions. And before you start yanking at everything, this one washer needs to come out of the dropout. It's probably better tools than uh, wire cutters to do this, but I'm still part Neanderthals. I'd make do with what I have, okay? You can see I'm doing this in my living room because I'm not one of those rich people that has a garage. Like, oh, Citizen Cycle has a garage. Isn't he special, guys? So I'm gonna be putting down this towel here. Just pull this wheel out. All right. The wheel is out and we're gonna put it cassette side up. This is already the 11 by 34 tooth. This is the stock cassette. Notice how much smaller it is. There's a couple of washers in here you're gonna to need to remove. Once the washers are removed, this is where you're going to need the special, one of the special tools I mentioned. This is a Park cassette tool, and I'll put the link in the description for this tool. Luckily, this was only about nine bucks. Like I said, I bought a bunch, but the problem you'll have with the, uh, doing this on the e-bikes is the axle is substantially bigger on these. You won't be able to fit the tool over the axle, but this one goes right over. Another nice thing is typically you need a tool called a chain whip that will lock your cassette into place because as you start to torque it, it'll wind the cassette up. You don't need that on this bike. You get a crescent wrench or whatever size wrench that is and then you just counterclockwise uh, pull it off. And the cassette has been removed. So this is actually substantially easier than I was expecting. The stock one came right off. Put on your new cassette. Just spin it on there. Get your cassette tool back on. Crank it back down to, you know, two or three ugga duggas. And now it's time to do the reverse and put this thing back onto the bike. So we're gonna put that washer back on the other torque nut or whatever the hell that thing's called, back in there. Pull up the chain. You're gonna have one part of the chain on the top of this cassette and one on the bottom. There's flat parts on the axle here that line up to the flat part and the dropout. So sometimes if you just wiggle it back and forth, 
to make sure the rotor goes through the brakes on the other side. And that is back in. The cassette side does not goes right on with no washer underneath it. On the brake side, we have the washer here. And you want to make sure the tab matches the tab on the frame. Stick it on there. You can see it's all lined up now. Stick the nut back on. Reconnect your motor connection here. There's a little tab in the frame here where the zip tie goes right through. There you guys have it. That's how you swap out the cassette on a Wired Freedom or Wired Cruiser. As a matter of fact, most bikes is gonna be pretty much the same process. All in all, it wasn't all that hard to do. I'd expect, even if you haven't done it before, you'll probably be done within an hour, and you'll probably use anywhere between 10 to 12 cuss words. If you're thinking about doing it, uh, go ahead and give it a try. I will put the link to the tools and the parts I used in this video. I will also be swapping out the 56 tooth front chain ring with this 46 tooth front chain ring. And the reason I haven't done that yet is because I took out the Tannis tire armor yesterday and filled these tubes with flat out. And I want to redo a range test and see what the difference between the two is, as I suspect that these are eating up quite a bit of range. But before I did that, I didn't want to go changing the gearing drastically where, you know, I did give it a lower low gear, but the rest of the gears are almost the same as the stock setup. So, you know, Maybe that's a little TMI. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked that chitty tutorial. If you did, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you know what, guys? I will catch you in the next one. We'll see you then.